This integral is cosine to the fifth. Now this four, I'm just gonna pretend that it's not here. At the end, you would just write your multiply the whole answer by four. So we looking in page 275 in the textbook, that's section 3.5, and that's to integrate cos to a power times sine to a power. We don't have sine, so this k is zero for us, so we don't have the sine term. We do have cosine, however, and our i, or in this case our j, is equal to five. So we're on step two, j is odd, which is five. We write cos j, so cos to the fifth, as cos to the fifth minus one times cos, which is cos to the fourth. And then we're gonna take this cos squared and write it as one minus sine squared. Now we don't have a cos squared. We have cos to the fourth, but squared squared, two times two is four. So when you take a power to a power, you multiply. And now cos squared is one minus sine squared. Okay, so now Make the substitution u equals sine x. du is cos x dx, and look at that, cos x dx, that is du. And of course, sine is u. So we have one minus u squared squared du. How do we integrate this? Well, we have to multiply one minus u squared times one minus u squared, we're gonna foil this. So it's one times one is one squared, minus u squared, minus u squared, minus two u squared. Negative u squared times negative u squared is positive u squared times u squared, or u to the fourth. From here, it's just the anti-power rule, that's it. So antiderivative of one is u, minus two thirds u cubed plus one fifth u to the fifth plus your constant. Remember all I did was bump the powers up and divide by them. And now we have to unsubstitute, come back into x's. So u is sine minus two thirds sine cubed plus one fifth sine to the fifth plus constant, and that is our antiderivative.